Hey YouTube, it's Sierra FM History here back at another video, and today we'll be talking about the SS Mariposa from 1931. The Mariposa was built by Bethlehem Shipping Shipbuilding Corporation at Qu in Quincy, Massachusetts, which was completed in 1931. Her registered length was 604 feet, her beam was 73.79.3 feet, and her depth was 30.5 feet. As built, her tonnages were 18,000. 17 gross range per ton and 10,580 NRT. She had 10 screws. No, sorry, not 10. Twin. <laughs> not 10. Not, yeah. Twin screws, each driven by three steam turbines via single reduction gearing. If these pictures look grainy, there's not a lot of Mariposa pictures, so I went with what I got. Mariposa was designed for service in the Pacific Ocean, including regular stops and ports along the west coast of the United States, Hawaii, Samoa, Fiji, New Zealand, and Australia. Her main voyage began on January 16, 1932, in New York City, where she sailed to Havana, transited the Panama Canal, and was berthed in the port of Los Angeles before continuing on a tour to ten more countries in the South and West Pacific. In World War II, she operated under the War Shipping Administration with allocation and close association with the U.S. Army, though not officially a U.S. Army transport or a USAT. Serving as a fast troop carrier, bringing supplies and support forces to distant shores, as well as rescuing persons stranded in foreign countries by the outbreak of war. Mariposa, with Navy designated troop capacity of 4,165 and speed of 20.5 knots, was one of the very large fast transports, the largest nicknamed monsters usually sailing without escorts. In 1947, the ship was mothballed for six years at Union Ironworks at, 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 in Alameda, California. Her engines were overhauled by Todd San Francisco Division. Hope Lines bought her and renamed her SS Homeric, not to be confused with the Homeric that sailed with the Olympic later on in her life. That's not the same Homeric. After Olympic was scrapped in the year 1934, this was built in the year 1931, so therefore this would not have been the one sailed with Homeric. The one no, it would have been not very sound of Olympic. And that's what America they only had one funnel, so obviously not the same one. She was renamed as so Merrick, selling her to Trieste for reconstruction to allow uh, 1,243 passengers, 147 first, and 1,096 tourist classes. Gross register tonnage increased to 18,563. Total life increased to 641 feet, and home lines operated her beginning January 24, 1955 for liner service between, port, between ports of the North Atlantic. On 18th of August 1956, Homeric's bow struck the side of the Greek line ship Columbia in fog in Quebec. At the time, tugs were, ho were towing Homeric and Columbia, towing the Homeric and Columbia's warning group. Sorry guys, my, my tongue's been twisted up. Tugs were towing the Homeric and Columbia was boarded for dog. 20 feet of Columbia's starboard side was damaged, and some of her lifeboats were crushed, so I assume Homer was moving at some speed. In 1964, she replaced SS Italia with steam on the regular run between New York and Nassau, Bahamas, where she and her were shortly replaced by SS Oceana. SS Homeric was reassigned to intra Caribbean cruises. In 1973, a major fire destroyed much of her galleon restaurant, and she was scrapped in Taiwan next to Holland America Line's SS New Amsterdam in 1974. During the ship breaking process, her sister ship, the Chandra's Lines, Elenis X. Lorene, that was her original name when she was with the Mariposa, suffered major engine damage on the cruise of Japan. Chandra's was able to purchase one of the Mariposa engines from the ship breakers. So, that's the story of the Mariposa. Not a very long video, it's just, just a short video I thought I'd do. I saw it and thought it had an interesting history. Well, not interesting, but you know, just something to cover. I thought it would be cool. Uh, have a good day. I know I said happy thanks in the last video. I know thanks so means until next week, but just in case I don't get another video out, which I'm sure I will, but just in case I don't, have a good uh, weekend and happy Thanksgiving. Bye.